Hi there, this is Michelle from PhotoRx. I'm going to walk you through a very quick edit using our brand new digital cyanotype Photoshop action set. We are going to take this tulip from here to here in just a couple of clicks. You'll notice that I'm using an image that's already been edited. It has good contrast and sharpness and a clutter-free background so it's ready to go. Let's head over to our actions palette. We want to open the digital cyanotype folder Highlight Digital Cyanotype and press play. This first dialog just reminds us to be on our background layer, which we are, so we'll click continue. And the next dialog tells us that we need to use the layer visibility eye to hide and reveal the different colors. Let's go ahead and click continue. You can see it's already turned it into a cyanotype. If we don't want to use this cyanotype light color, we click the eye and it goes away and we can put the eye on on any of the other color layers. Um, sometimes you can even apply multiple layers to really beautiful effect. For my edit, I use this one, multicolored blue, so I'm going to make sure that's visible, and then head up to the refinement tools and bump the contrast. These are super easy to use. You can make it a little darker, a little lighter, you can paint on dark and light areas. Um, it's all very intuitive. Since I like where this is right now, I'm going to flatten my layers and create a new layer for my brush texture. I want to apply my brush in black, so I'm going to make sure my foreground color is set to black. Then I'm going to select my brush tool. Now I already have a um, brush that's included in this set selected, so I just need to resize it and position it before stamping it onto my image. Now we're going to adjust the blending mode. Um, we would suggest trying multiply, soft light, or overlay. For this image, I used overlay at 100%. Um, you can always adjust the opacity if you want to change that. Um, and that's it, that's all there is to it. We built this set with the intention of inspiring you to be creative. And we hope you'll get out there and try it and make something beautiful.